I've had this quilt top sitting in my fabric stash for over a year mulling over what I want to create with it. Of course, a finished quilt is always a great option, but when I purchased the quilt top, I knew I wanted to use it as fabric for something else. Finally, I came across this inspiration from Doen of a patchwork dress for girls, and I knew immediately I wanted to recreate it. For this dress, I'm actually working out some details of a new version of the Betty Girl dress pattern, which you will get to see soon. So the base of the pattern is the Betty dress for girls and the bodice will have a closure in the back and I got to work on some other details I'm excited to share with you. Plus, I learned a new gathering trick that I think you'll love to use. First, I prepped the fabric by giving it a good wash and ironing it. This is when I learned the yellow shapes weren't laying perfectly flat, which could also be a reason the original maker decided not to finish the quilt. It really is cool to think of the origin of the quilt and story behind it, and now it's taking on a new story. After ironing it, I started by cutting out the skirt tier of the dress. I thought through the details of the shape placement of the quilt and decided it would be best to leave a white border on the bottom of the skirt. After cutting my pattern pieces, I tried out this new gathering trick that someone generously shared with me on another YouTube video. So now I want to pass it along to you. Grab clear elastic and measure it to the width you want the gathers to end up as. Now mark the center of the elastic with a permanent pin, a sharp pin, or anything that will mark the middle. Make sure the center of your piece you are gathering is also marked. Now starting at the edge of your pattern piece, place the elastic on top of the fabric on the wrong side. Create a zigzag stitch and back stitch. Pull the elastic as tight as you can and begin sewing. You want to pull again until the middle of the elastic is matching the pattern piece. Continue zigzag stitch until you reach the end and you have a perfectly gathered piece of fabric. Next, I realized I needed to line the dress due to the many seams of the quilt. I did this a simple way by cutting each pattern piece from a cotton lining and putting wrong sides together to the main pattern pieces before sewing at the seams. For the sleeves, I used clear elastic again to create a ruffled sleeve and this was so simple and I'm definitely going to be using this on future sewing projects. I 
added a ruffle around the neckline as well, which made a cute detail. To enclose the seams, I hand stitched some bias on the back, which I feel like made a clean finish. For the button on the back, I didn't have anything special, so I used a metal clasp, which is really easy when getting dressed. For an extra detail, I knew Willow needed pockets for her dress. She often asks where the pockets are when she gets a new dress. To make these ruffled pockets, cut four pocket shapes. Measure roughly around the shape and multiply this number by two. Then cut a large piece to measure the measurement by one and a half inches. Fold this strip in half and iron. Now increase the stitch length and tension on your machine and this will gather the strip together. After creating this stitch, use the bobbin thread to adjust the strip to create more of a ruffle that is going to fit around the pocket shape. Pin around one of the shapes and sew at a quarter of an inch. Now sandwich the other shape on top right sides together. Starting on one side, sew around the pocket leaving a two inch opening on the side. Sew around at half an inch and turn the pocket right side out. Iron, making sure the opening of the pocket is now on the back. Repeat this for the other pocket and pin to your dress. Overall, this was such an enjoyable project to make. I'm really glad I waited it out to find the perfect inspiration. And the good thing is I have so much of this quilt top left over. So there's many more projects to make out of it. I would love to hear what you would make with a quilt top like this. This just reminds me of the 90s going on a picnic it's giving full house michelle tanner vibes and i think it is just a fun childhood dress
You can find the pattern linked below and for more sewing inspiration, you can click this next video.